okay so first is for your first program what you need to do is you need to go to this website scratchmit.edu so just go to your browser and google scratch scratch and this is the website that you need to go to scratch.mit.edu click there and it will take to their page okay so you, there are two ways you can uh, create a program you can click create from the top or start creating uh, on the left side like you can select any way you want this that's absolutely fine so click create and this is the screen that you will be able to see and that's where we are going to program our like everything that we will be working in scratch if you have done scratch earlier on well done that's good if you haven't done scratch in your primary that's not a problem i'm going to assume that like to make sure that everyone is included i'm going to assume that you haven't done scratch and we are starting from scratch in scratch <laughs> okay so um uh, scratch is the programming language that we are going to use for our programming concepts like for this unit and we are using an online version of scratch which i have just told you this is the uh, page you will be in this is the website we'll be using it's an online version so you don't really need to install anything that's absolutely fine you don't have to worry about installing anything you can use it on desktop computer on laptop or tablet or on phone in phone as well it shouldn't be a problem at all um we yeah this is the page that we need to be in when this is like the landing area when you're here the right hand side the area this right hand side um is is the like area where we will be running our program so when we will click this after we have done the coding we will click the green flag to run our program and that's where we will be see the output of our program and this v character this cat is called a sprite and we as i've said we will click the green flag to run our program and red to stop it if you come down uh, you can see you can change the name of your sprite you can give it any name you want we can also change the direct uh, directions like x and y x axis of it like the place it's on basically not direction sorry it's x and y axis and then we can change the size and direction for example example uh, we can use we can put like manually put ourselves or we can change the direction like this uh, hope you'll be able to see that like as i'm changing the direction our sprite is moving as well okay and from bottom here you can upload your own sprite or there are a couple of sprites that are already there for you to use you can you're free to use if you want if you don't want to use a cat there are other sprites that you can use as well now moving forward this middle area is called script area this area uh i hope you will be able to follow my mouse this middle area is called script area and this is the area we will where we will put all our coding blocks or our scripts so this is the area on our left hand side this is the area we will be able to get all of our coding blocks and this in the middle is the area script area where all our script or coding block goes okay so you can see from the left hand side we have motion block we have looks looks sounds events control sensors operators variables and my blocks if you have created any of your own blocks so um, what we need to do is to, we we can drag and drop the blocks that we need it's just the drag and drop um you just need to drag and drop them in the middle area in the script area to be able to use them and if you want to if you don't want any block you can just drag and drop it back or you can right click it and delete block to uh delete it okay you can even change the size of your script uh, sprite for that go to the right hand side and click you will be able to see size here click here and make it for example thousand 
oh this is like a lot so the maximum we can go is 540 so for example 200 yeah so th initially the sprite was 100 and we have made it double made it 200 or we can go 50 so the size is reduced and we are just going back to what it was originally 100 so we can change the size of the sprite this is called i have already told as well this is called the sprite the character that we will be working on okay so now come to coding let's start some coding what we want our sprite is this is our sprite and we want it to move what we need to do so the first thing we need to do is from control block we need to get a control when green flag is clicked so when we will run our program when we will click the green flag everything that is here will be implemented will be we will be able to see the output of everything all the code blocks that are here so the first thing the first block we need to get was when green flag is clicked then move 10 steps now move is in motion so we need to go to motion block move 10 steps now let's click the green flag and see the output so our cat have moved a little bit i hope you'll be able to see from here let's stop it and move it again yeah so our cat is moving our sprite is moving but like it's only moving 10 steps what if we wanted to move like all the way to the end of the screen what we need to do for that for that we need to get our loop we need to get a loop and uh, the loop is going to help us to move it for like uh, for longer time so we've got a loop forever is a loop and we have put our move 10 steps inside the loop let's see what happens now oops our cat has disappeared our um, sprite is disappeared is that a good idea no yes no not really so let's click the green flag again and our sprite disappeared which is not a great idea which is not something that we actually want to do to solve the problem of our sprite being disappearing what we need to do is we need to go back to our motion block and we need to go uh, get a block which is if on edge bounds back so if our sprite goes to the edge of our screen it should be able to bounce back so we need to scroll down and get the block from here and put it inside our loop let's see let's run the program and see how it works now yes it's bouncing back so now the other pro problem that uh, we have is that it is bouncing back but it's going upside down is that a good idea do we want it like this no no not really we don't want our sprite to go upside down to solve this problem what we need to do is we need to go back to motion again and we need to get a block called set rotation style okay we are already in motion so scroll if you're not just click motion and scroll down and we need to search for set rotation style and then we need to bring it before loop see the thing is that the reason we are uh, bringing it outside loop is that we only want to set the rotation style only once not like every time in the loop so that's why we are putting it outside the loop set rotation size style left to right and then now stop this one and see how this one works yeah this is a bit better right yeah this is a bit better so now our cat our sprite is moving from edge to edge from the side of the screens and it's not even going upside down which is like better than what it was doing earlier on now the question is does it actually looks like walking is it actually walking hmm? what do you think no it's it the cat looks the sprite looks more like dragging it doesn't really looks like walking so what we can do to solve this problem to solve this problem we need to change the costume so what we need to do is we need to go to looks and we need to get a block which is next costume next costume and we are going to place it under 
um, if edge bounds so we we have placed it here and uh, let's see let's stop our program and click it again so now yeah now our uh, sprite like it looks like that it's walking like it's moving its feet because we have Cho chosen two costumes now it looks like it's moving its feet but like the speed is the speed of walking is a lot it's it's walking very fastly so what we need to do is instead of moving 10 steps we can change it to move five steps let's close stop the program it's still it's taking five steps but it haven't solved the program problem it still like looks like moving very fast which is not a great idea which is which doesn't really looks like a natural walk so to solve that problem what we need to do is we need to set the size of the um steps um okay so what we need to do is we need to get a weight block we will be able to get a weight block from our control so we need to go to control and get a weight block and put it there wait yeah so this is a weight block and we need to put it under next costume it says one second by default let's change it to 0.5 seconds stop the program and run it again yeah this looks more like walking yeah but it's a bit slow so let's change it to three seconds stop the program run it again hmm, this is better let's change it to two seconds i think two seconds will be better stop the program run it again yeah that looks low more like walking like a proper walk that looks more like a proper walk so that's our program i'm not going to stop it so you can see how like we can leave our cat moving for like whatever time we want okay and now the thing is that uh, how to save our program i will advise you to if you are using a desktop or a laptop i will advise you to create a folder like s1 computing scratch and uh, click file and save to your computer and then all you need to do it will be it will go to your downloads then you need to cut and paste it in your um for example s1 computing folder if you are using a tablet iphone or uh, ipad uh, then you can just take a screenshot of your code and send it to me via teams right that's all that's all for our first program we have made our cat walk we have made our sprite walk and it's it's pretty natural walk i would say that's all for like the very first program the, for the beginners who haven't started scratch uh, earlier on and uh, we will be doing a lot uh, more like programming concepts through scratch and that will help us to uh, make our pro not only uh, that will help us with our programming concept but like working in scratch uh, better as well because scratch is a very fun programming language okay talk to you later let me know if you have any questions bye bye